Hello friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's really exciting to find great makeup products that work especially well for those of us with mature skin who are over 50, over 60 and beyond. And it's even more fun to share them with you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. The products I'll be talking about are a wonderful mixed bag of drugstore and high-end products with a smattering of others that fall somewhere in between that range. So hang tight. This will definitely be fun and I hope helpful. If you're new to this channel, I want to welcome you and I'm so glad you've decided to stop by today. My name is Elise and I'm a professional working makeup artist. My passion and mission is to help those of us who are over 50 look on the outside, how we feel on the inside, so we can look and feel our confident best. When it's safe to do so, I teach in-person makeup classes for women over 50 and I also do individual makeup consultations via Zoom. And you'll find additional makeup information on my Boomer and Beyond Beauty website and Facebook page. And one of my favorite things is being with you each Thursday on these videos to answer your questions and also demonstrate makeup products and techniques that work for us now. I hope you'll decide to join our wonderful family of women who've subscribed to this channel. We'd love to have you with us. And all you need to do to join is to click that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified each time a new video is available, also just tap that bell icon below the video to the right. And I thank you so very much if you decide to do so. Well, we have a lot to cover, so let's dive into today's topic. First, I want to share with you my rationale for choosing these particular products. First and foremost, these had to be products that work especially well for those of us who are over 50. Now, this might mean that they apply especially easily and therefore save us time and just make the whole makeup routine a little bit easier. Or it might be that the product helps us solve particular issues and challenges that many of us face. For instance, the lip liner that I'm going to talk about helps prevent lipstick migrating or feathering into fine lines around our lips, which is a pretty common issue for many of us. It's specifically formulated to do this. And one of the other products I'll mention helps us deal with skin discoloration. We'll start at the top of the face and work our way down. So we'll first focus on eyebrows. Since many of us start to notice one or more changes with our eyebrows and filling in our eyebrows is one of the top four things we can do to look our best, finding good eyebrow products is really crucial. And when they're a bargain to boot, well, that's an added bonus for sure. I've tried a lot of brow products over the years, believe me. But the product I won't be without right now is ELF's Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Let me show it to you. This is what it looks like. As you can see, there's a spoolie on one end and then it's an automatic pencil on the other end. Two things really make me love this product. First, it glides on and is probably the easiest brow pencil I've ever used. Second, it only costs $2. How can you beat that? It's an amazing bargain. And I want to mention one other eyebrow product as well. It's a brow pomade, which is a cream that comes in a jar and it's made by Maybelline. It's their Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. Here's what it looks like. And it also comes with this handy brush on one end and a spoolie on the other end. Unlike a similar product, but more expensive product, in fact, one that's about three times as expensive, this Maybelline product does not dry out. It glides on and stays put. It's important to put just a small amount on the brush and then wipe off some of that in the cap so you have very little product on your brush when you first apply it. But it gives a very professional polished look to your brows. Next, turning to our eyes and specifically to our eyelids, let's talk about another product that's especially good for us. As we get older, the eyelid skin gets even thinner. And what this means for us is that often the veins in our eyelids or some other discoloration may become more noticeable. So this is why our next product comes to the rescue, since it basically covers up and erases that discoloration. 
there's research to prove that evening out our skin tone, even on our eyes, helps us look considerably better and, yes, younger. So I'm sure that many of you have guessed what I'm talking about. It's an eyeshadow primer. And it's important to find one that actually matches your skin tone. In addition to helping our eyelids look beautifully free of discoloration, eyeshadow primer also totally prevents our eyeshadow from smudging and creasing, which it's definitely prone to do after a few hours because of the oil glands that we do have in our eyelids. My absolute favorite is this one. This is the eyeshadow base from Urban Decay. They call it their primer potion. I use the color Eden, but there's also a darker option as well. So now that our eyelids are in good shape with eyeshadow primer, let's move on to our next product, which is especially fun because we're going to focus on eyeshadow. And I confess that one of my greatest makeup joys is looking at a gorgeous array of eyeshadow colors in an eyeshadow palette. Do any of you feel the same way? Since eyeshadow application can definitely take less time and be far easier and less frustrating with eyeshadows that are very pigmented, which glide on easily to our eyes and which blend seamlessly, I've picked out some eyeshadow brands, which I feel are the real standouts in the world of eyeshadow formulations and are absolutely the easiest to blend and to work with. So all of these eyeshadow brands that I'm gonna be talking about have the same characteristics. They're highly pigmented, they absolutely glide onto the eyes, and they're super easy to blend. I'll start with the lower priced options and then I'll move up to the higher priced brands. ColourPop and BH Cosmetics are both excellent lower price brands. My favorite BH Cosmetics palette is called Glam Reflection Rosé. Here's the outside and it's going to reflect quite a lot because of the mirror surface on the outside, but let me show you the products on the inside. As you can see, these are mostly neutral mattes and there are a few shimmers mixed in as well. There are 15 shadows in total with 10 of them being mattes and five being shimmers. There are also a couple of Zodiac palettes from BH Cosmetics, which I've heard wonderful things about as well, but I don't have them yet, <laughs> but they're definitely on my wish list. And here's a gorgeous palette from ColourPop called Lilac You A Lot. I used several of these colors on my eyes today. Isn't this gorgeous? If you love purples, you definitely may want to check this one out. Next is what I'd term a middle price point brand. It's Juvia's Place, but they're often wonderful sales on their website, so you may want to check that out. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you've probably heard me talk about or even seen me use their all matte eyeshadow palette called Warrior II. This is the Warrior II palette. There's a wide range of colors from light to mid-tone to darker neutrals, and there's some beautiful pops of orange mixed in, which can look great mixed in with an eyeshadow look with neutral tones. But Juvia's Place has so many absolutely gorgeous palettes. And I wanted to show you another one today that I've not used in any of my previous videos. It's the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. The Magic Mini has some light to mid-tone matte colors, as well as some incredibly beautiful deep matte shades in blues and purple. And then there are some stunning pink, blue, gold, and even lavender shimmers. And by the way, their artwork on their palettes is simply stunning. Let me show you both the outside and the inside of this palette. Here's the Magic Mini palette, and here's a look at some of the shades on the inside. I want to swatch just a few of these for you so you can see how absolutely gorgeous they are. I put some of the shimmers on the back of my hand. They're amazing. I don't know if this is going to show up as beautifully as they do in person, but at least you can get some idea. And then I want to show you some of the deeper colors. Aren't those amazing? The next eyeshadow palette is a new favorite called Enduring Love by Sydney Grace. It has some beautiful mid-tone mattes, also some pops of color and fantastic shimmer. And it is a little bit more expensive. Let me show you and I'll also show you a few swatches. This is the outside of the palette and here you can see the inside as well. Here are just some of the colors from the Sydney Grace palette. Now I'm showing you some of the deeper colors, but as you notice, there are a lot of mid-tones and lighter colors as well. 
Then our last two brands are definitely at the far higher end of the price scale, but they're of amazing quality. First, Viseart. This brand has been a favorite with makeup artists for years, and there's a reason for it. The quality of these shadows is exceptional, and they make more all matte palettes than almost any other brand that I'm aware of, many of them in a 12 pan configuration. This is their dark matte palette. Here's the Viseart Dark Matte Palette. I don't know how well this is showing up on camera because of the reflection I'm getting. Maybe you'll be able to see these a little bit better this way. As you can see, it's gorgeous neutrals in the darker variety, but they are all mattes. There is a warm matte palette also, plus a neutral matte and a couple of cool tone matte palettes in addition to several others. They also make two amazing 30 pan palettes of mattes and a 30 pan palette of all different formulations of shimmer. In the last couple of years, fortunately, they've also started making more affordable palettes in smaller pan sizes of eight and 12 shadows. Here's a five pan palette called Petite Pro 5 Soleil. Here's what it looks like on the outside. And here is the inside of the Petite Pro Soleil Viseart palette. Aren't these absolutely stunning colors? It is so spring and summery. And let me also show you their 12 pan palette called Rose Edit. Here you have some stunning colors as well. Some mattes, which are nice and neutral, as well as some shimmers. And now on to probably my favorite all-time eyeshadow formulation. It's the eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. Here is the Mini Lila palette, which may still be on sale at Sephora. And this next larger palette is their Tropic palette, which may also still be on sale. Here are a few color swatches from the Mini Lila palette. That neutral color you see at the bottom is probably one of the most beautiful mid-tone colors I've ever used. This is gorgeous. And then I also wanted to show you some swatches of colors from the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. I don't know if there could be a more beautiful summer palette than that Tropic palette. I have to say, it just makes me happy to look at it. There are a couple of shimmers in the bottom row which don't perform quite as well as I'd like, but the rest of the palette is an absolute dream to work with. One other eye product that's become absolutely essential for me and which I always highly recommend is Color Science's Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Therapy. This is the Color Science product. And this is what the applicator tip looks like. If you have issues with dark circles or puffiness under your eyes, you may want to check this product out. It not only combats puffiness under the eye, but it also color corrects and has a mineral SPF of 35. And since it now comes in four different colors, it will work on just about every skin tone. It is pricey, but it will last for quite a long time because you're really not using very much each time you apply it. Color correcting with a peach or apricot color under the eye, which works with your skin color, is the most effective way of dealing with under eye darkness and circles. And if you'd like more information on this, I have a link to a video that goes into more detail on color correcting in the description box below. After applying this Color Science product, I usually pat on concealer that's one shade lighter than my foundation, and then I lightly pat on a very small amount of translucent powder to prevent under eye creasing. And this last eye product probably won't be a surprise to any of you who have watched a few of my videos since I talk about it a lot. It's from Clinique and it's called Bottom Lash Mascara. And because of the very tiny brush, it's absolutely perfect for applying mascara on bottom lashes. Frankly, I used to always get more product under my eyes than on my bottom lashes when I tried putting mascara on my bottom lashes. But this product absolutely solves the problem. Here's what it looks like. And here's what the brush looks like. Now let's talk about two excellent and inexpensive face contouring products that are creams. Wet n Wild's Wears Walnut and Elf's Cream Contour Palette. Let me show them to you. Here's the Wet n Wild product, which is a drugstore brand that's very inexpensive, but it works beautifully. And here's what the Cream Contour Palette looks like. These are such bargains and both work extremely well. They glide on easily and the colors are really quite good. My only regret is that the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette has only one light shade, which is rather yellow-based. So I do wish they had one more light color that was more pink-based. 
Next, I want to share with you two different kinds of powders. One is a translucent powder. It's a setting powder from Laura Mercier and a finishing powder from Hourglass. Here's what the Laura Mercier powder looks like. For most of us, our skin becomes drier as we get older and applying powder can sometimes make our skin look even drier. So applying it strategically just to areas where we really need it is absolutely the key for most of us as we get a little older. Often where we really need it is in our T-zone area. Pressing in just a very small amount of this Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder can really keep any oiliness at bay in this area. And you may have noticed that my face looks a little bit less glowy than it did a little while ago at the beginning of this video. That's because I decided to tone down the glow a little bit with this Laura Mercier powder. You can see how effectively it did that. This particular powder is extremely finely milled and because of this, it's a huge favorite of so many makeup artists. Now, I have to admit that for a long time, I wasn't sold on the idea of using a finishing powder. But there's one brand that makes a finishing powder that gives just a lovely soft finish and subtle glow to the skin. It's Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Powder. I have two shades of it to show you. One is called Dim Light and the other is Diffused Light. The particular palette I have also includes blush, bronzer, and a highlighting powder but you can buy these finishing powder products individually. The two finishing powders I'm going to share with you are on the top left side. Here are the Hourglass finishing powders. The powder on the far right side is actually a strobe powder, which gives even more glow to the skin. The finishing powders on the left side on the top row give just a very subtle glow. They are quite pricey, but the good news is that you can purchase a smaller mini version of several shades of these finishing powders for much less money, $24 versus $48. Next, let's focus on lips. L'Oreal developed a product line specifically for those of us over 50 called Age Perfect, which debuted last February. I did a whole video on this line, which I've linked in the description box below in case you might like to learn more about some of the other products in this line. But the two products from this line that I've especially come to love are the lip liners and the lipsticks. The lip liner is called an anti-feathering lip line, and it is just that. Let me show it to you. I have a couple of especially deep vertical lines along my bottom lip, and I just apply a little bit more of the lip liner to those areas. And I also put concealer around my lips first. And I've really not had a problem with my lipstick feathering or migrating. These are plastic pencils and they do require sharpening, which is one of my two regrets with these pencils. I so hope they eventually come out with automatic lip liner pencils, which don't have to be sharpened because it's a little tricky to sharpen these. These come in eight colors, which include bold colors as well as a nude pink. And mentioning the colors of these lip liners brings me to my other regret. There are no lighter warm shades, so I hope they eventually expand the color range of these products. I also really love the lipsticks they came out with as well. There's a luminous hydrating lipstick in 10 shades, and let me show you several of those shades. One's in Perfect Burgundy and the other is Splendid Plum. Here's what those lipsticks look like. Here's the burgundy, and as you can see, they have a special moisturizing core to these lipsticks. And here's what this color looks like. And here is a splendid plum. As you can see, that's a slightly lighter color. And let me also show you two of the satin lipsticks with precious oils. These two colors are Vibrant Fuchsia and Pinot Noir. Here's the Vibrant Fuchsia. That's the bottom color on my hand. And here's the Pinot Noir and that's the very bottom color on my hand. There's a gorgeous coral in this satin formula, which may be of special interest to those of you with a warm skin undertone. But unfortunately, that seems to be about the only really warm shade. However, there are two beautiful reds. One's more of a blue red and one's more of a neutral red. These are extremely hydrating and go on beautifully. So that concludes my roundup of exceptional makeup products for those of us who are over 50. I hope you found this information helpful. And if so, I would so appreciate it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any friends or family members who might also find this information helpful, I do hope you'll also feel free to share this video with them as well. And in the comments section below, I would love to know some of your favorite 
can't do without makeup products. It would be so much fun to hear about your favorite products, so I do hope you'll share some of your standout products with us in the comments section below. I'm so glad you could be here today, and I want to thank you so very much for giving me the gift of your time. I hope you stay happy and healthy and have an absolutely fabulous rest of your day. Take care.